We have been painting our 25-foot pursuit project boat. Now, just before the break, we were rolling and tipping the outer hull with Fighting Lady Yellow. And since several days have passed, we've gone ahead and we've painted our gunnel caps white. The inside of the boat has not only been ground down with this machine right here. It's a soft pad with some 60 grit paper. We wanted to get off that really aggressive non-skid. We wanted to grind it off. We fared the deck, we've sanded it, we put on high build primers, and we put on finish paint. We've been using Interlux's perfection paint here today on the program. But now we're kind of ready to put on some painted non-skid down in some key areas down here on the deck in order to get some traction. And take a look at that, okay? Do you see that masking tape, these borders, okay? We're gonna have a combination of smooth area with smooth paint and we're gonna have some non-skidded areas. And that leads us to our next expert guest. Hi, Bob. Hi, John, how Great are you? Great to see you again, my thanks, friend. Thanks for having me. I, it's, it's always a pleasure. Bob is with Interlux, and he's been on the program a bunch of times before, and you will continue, my friend, because you just bring so much information. Hey, I want to add some traction to the paint. And I know that there are some paint products out there that have non-skid mixed up in them, could you please show me a couple examples here and who, who's making this stuff? Sure, John. There's a couple examples. Um, there's a product made by Evercoat called uh, Skid No More. There are some private label brands. Uh, we also make a product called uh, Inner Deck, which is a one-part polyurethane with a non-skid already mixed into it. Okay, just real quick, the difference between a one-part polyurethane and a two-part polyurethane, one parts are easier to apply. They're less money, okay? Two parts are more durable, they cost a little bit more, but they don't make them where the non-skid's mixed up in them. So we have to do that ourselves, okay? And this is some non-skid, okay? This is a white, beady type of material, and this is what gives you traction, okay? But, but why don't we just go down to the beach and grab a cup of sand that doesn't cost anything, and mix it into our paint and we have traction. Why do we need to spend money for this? Well, John, this is a polymeric uh, synthetic bead that absorbs the paint that you're using so it becomes sort of one with the paint, if you will. The sand, if you use it, will settle down into the paint film, uh, settle down into the paint that you're going to apply, and when you go to roll it out, it's not going to be as uniform. This will sort of remain in suspension a lot better and give you a much more uniform finish at the end of the day. Okay, how much non-skid do I want to mix up in a quart of your paint? Uh, about four, in four ounces by volume of the non-skid compound into a mixed quart of paint. That should give you a good uniform finish. Do we need to let it set up or can we start rolling it out right away? You want, once you mix it in, stir it in real well, let it set up about five to 10 minutes and then stir it just one more time before you apply it or pour it into a paint tray. Okay, now as you're rolling it out, okay, it's important to occasionally agitate that paint, get the non-skid resuspended. Okay, in the material, if, you know, gravity, okay? If it does kind of settle down to the bottom of the paint, just kind of stir it up, okay? And that'll give you a nice uniform coverage. Talk to me about the foam roller that we're using and, and how thick is this roller and why are we using this particular one? Well, there's the right tool for the right job. And here we have a yellow foam roller. It's a marine grade roller. It's one eighth of an inch thick and it holds up to the solvents in the paints that are available today. And they, the roller won't fall apart comes in about a seven inch. This happens to be a nine inch roller. There's three inch rollers as well. Do you see the material that's on this little foam brush? Okay. Don't use a roller with the same material. It will disintegrate in solvents yes. over time. And that's going to get in your paint job. You're not going to like it. Okay. You also don't want to brush it. All right. That's very important because you're going to be dragging the non-skid and you're, you're going to see channels. You're going to see grooves. Don't do that. There's two different ways that you can apply non-skid. You can either suspend it and roll it out with the foam roller, or you can roll a film of paint and you can sprinkle some non-skid onto the actual hatch or, or your deck. And what I have here is just little, a little uh, uh, quart mixing cup, okay, that I put some holes in the top here. You can just sprinkle that out. Let it set for a day. You can come back with a, with a vacuum with bristles on it. You can uh, vacuum up the excess right. and you can paint another coat of film on there. So there are a couple of techniques. But Bob, what I want to do is, is can you stick around? Sure. Because real quick, we need to take another time out.